welcome back to Jack's World of Wildlife. Now, we've had a recent success because we were able to film a brown recluse bite video. And so far, it's been pretty positively received. Which is good. I like that. I like to change people's minds and show them what actually happens so that maybe in their mind, in their mind's eye, they don't see these animals as monsters anymore. I've decided to showcase a little more of a well-known spider. Now what I have in this little plastic container is Latrodectus mactans, which is more commonly referred to as the Southern Black Widow. Now this is a little female here, and we are going to show you all what exactly all the Black Widow bot encases. So you can see here, we've got our little friend. Oh, oh, shh, 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 shh. easy, 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 easy. She's a little startled, but very, very nice looking spider. Look at that. If I can get her to descend off of my hand one more time and kind of get her spun around, you can see that red hourglass oh, on the abdomen, that iconic feature of black widows. Now this Mactans, the southern black widow, does have some dorsal spots on the top of her. Some nice red coloration. But you can see, for the most part, again, she's very docile. Uh, she's not being aggressive. She's just trying to figure out what's going on, trying to figure out where she wants to go. See that hourglass? Nice. Thank you for cooperating. Uh, but again, these are primarily nervous spiders. They will typically try to run away at any circumstance uh, of danger. So what she's typically going to do is she's going to have, she's going to be sitting in her web. Excuse me. She's going to be sitting in her web minding her own business, and what's going to happen typically is I'm going to come up and disturb that web and she's going to go pull all the way back into a secret little hole that she has webbed up for herself just to get out of harm's way. Now I have never been bitten by a black widow before and I've never been bitten by a neurotoxic spider before. So neurotoxin, talk a little bit about that, is going to directly affect my nervous system. So essentially what this is going to do is it's going to basically tell my body, ouch, don't mess with this again. Where'd it go? Still on me? Oh, it's hanging down. There we go. All right. So without further ado, I think, I think we're getting ready to try the Black Widow bite. Whew. All right. So basically what we're going to do is hopefully our lighting is good. Our angles are good. And we, I'm gonna try and give the cameraman a little bit of a heads up. A little bit of a heads up. Is that a bite? Ooh, yep, okay, I felt it there. Gonna see if she, ooh, yep, okay. Okay. Uh-huh, okay, yeah, that does hurt a little bit. Yeah, look, look, you can see that her fangs are inside of me. There. Oh, there she goes, she released. All right, so she bit me right there. I will say not immediate pain, but it is definitely starting to roller coaster. Yeah, is she in focus for you? Mm-hmm. Perfect. That'll be good on the thumbnail. Black Widow bite. Yep, okay. So it's starting to get pretty painful here. So again, neurotoxin. That's telling my body, ouch, owie, that really hurts. Don't make Black Widows bite you again. Now, I will say right now, you're probably at home going, what the heck, dude? That's crazy, man. Why would you let a black widow bite you like that, huh? And I'm going to tell you right now, there has never been a recorded death from a United States, North America species of Latrodectus. You might get a tummy ache. You might feel a little dizzy. Your arm might hurt, but you are not going to die. If you are bitten by this spider, and you're for sure that it's a spider, you're having a lot of extreme symptoms, go to the doctor. I'll probably make you feel, feel bad. Look, too, so now, sorry, I'm gonna interrupt myself. So a bit, about right here, now you can see it's starting to get red in this area. It's pretty decent envenomation for a black widow. Again, I said, 
bites in secret, typically the bite is not very painful. I did experience a little bit of a pinch, pretty similar to the brown recluse bite uh, that we experienced just a few uh, months prior. Um, but yeah, you can certainly see already my skin is inflamed. You can see it's almost all the way out here. So it'll be very, very interesting to see the effects of this bite. Now, I will be updating, like I did with the brown recluse, um, throughout this journey. Um, this shouldn't last nearly as long. This should last about 6 to 15 hours, and I will let you all know. Um, wow, okay, actually, look at this. Easy, easy. So what she's actually doing right now, see how she's kind of kicking her butt? Uh, so that's defensive webbing. She's actually just trying to spray out some web. But look right there, right where she bit me. It's starting to swell up a little bit and there's some little bumps on my skin right there. Which is super interesting. Now again, Black Widow's not aggressive at all. And really not that dangerous. Um, I know it seems crazy that I go out and do all this. Oh wow, look at it now. I know that it seems crazy that I go out and do all this stuff, um, but it's because I care about these animals. I love black widows. In fact, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Before I started doing Jack's World Wildlife, I kept a ton of animals. I've maintained and raised anything from venomous snakes to, um, I had at one point probably over 500 individual black widows of all different species that I raised and bred. Um, I kept um, a lot of different types of uh, ants, ant colonies. Um, I have kept pretty much anything you can think of. Dart frogs, plants, isopods, anything. Um, and I've always been so impressed with the behavior of the black widow. And what I mean by that is they are so timid. A lot of venomous snakes almost seem to know they're venomous. Uh, they kind of carry their weight, <laughs> if you will, um, in that fact. They just basically are saying, hey, don't mess with me. I'm venomous. And if, if need be, if you really want to get on my bad side, I will defend myself. Black widows are totally the opposite. It's almost as if they do not know that they are venomous. Take a look at that now. Don't get this mosquito bite, because that's not what from the black widow. But look. Let's see if I can steer towards this. Look at that. There's the bite. Can't deny that, YouTube. That's the real thing right now. All of our bite and sting videos are done in one take. Don't bite me on the finger. Easy. Um, and that is because I believe in authenticity. I'm not going to put on a show for you guys. I'm going to tell you, that stings. Oh, oh, easy, easy. Shh, shh. What are you doing? <laughs> she was trying to... I guess maybe bite me on the finger, but my skin is too thick. I don't want her to bite me on the finger, and that's mostly because there's not enough muscle to kind of dilute the venom as easy. That's more of an issue with hemotoxic animals, um, but I just, I just don't want her to bite me on the finger. I'd rather her bite me. That's again why we do stings on, our, on my arm. Why we, why I do stings. We, the Royal Jacks World of Wildlife, we. Um, I do stings. I do bites and stings on my arm because that's the safest place to do it. You feel the pain, but it's also not in an area where I could have any tissue damage and things like that, nerve damage, most likely. I mean, sometimes I don't know with some of these things. But look at that. I mean, that's a pretty spider. Right there. There's the bite. Oh. So, oh, easy. She webbed me up there. Look at that. Beautiful spider. Again, black widows hold a special place in my heart. So I used to keep quite a few of them. But um, I'll probably put her up for now. Because I don't want to stress her out anymore. And um, I will keep updating on the sting. Ow! No! She just bit me on the finger. She's a little, she's a little annoyed. So I'm going to go ahead and let her go. One last time. Starting to sweat on that, on that bite. Well, that's impressive. I hope you guys enjoy these videos because uh, as she goes back in her little container for now, we're going to get her something to eat too because uh, she hasn't eaten in a few days. She's a little puny. But we didn't want her to eat right before the video because... Oh, actually that was a good display of how strong this webbing is. Oh, never mind. It broke that stick. It was too big. 
um, because the abdomens are th so thin that they can get damaged um, doing a video like this. But yeah, take a look at that. Localized sweating, bumps, a welt. It's impressive. It's certainly a lot more than what happened uh, initially for the brown recluse um, bite. However, I'm gonna treat it about the same way. I'm gonna ride out the effects and I'm gonna keep it sterilized. Again, that's very, very important with these bites is to keep the area clean. I will be, first off, cleaning it with um, soap and water and then I have a little topical over-the-counter antibiotic cream uh, that I'll be using. I'm really not planning on using anything else. Maybe, maybe pain, pain relief if it gets too bad. Um, because I am planning on sleeping tonight. And if it gets too painful, which it could be, because that I was holding her there for a good long while and she probably pumped two or three times the amount that she would have just done with just one bite and she bit me on the finger because she was getting a little annoyed with me. We shall see, but um, that's pretty interesting. Um, it is getting pretty painful now. I'd say, honestly, at this epicenter, Probably almost as bad as a as a bullet ant, maybe. I mean, it's pretty painful. And again, that's because of the neurotoxin. If you remember from the bullet ant, that venom is just telling my brain, ow, 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 ow. So it's not really doing a whole lot of damage. It's just going to be affecting my nervous system a little more um, and, a, and more of an extreme kind of bite. Because it is going to do a little bit more to me. Um, I think that's the full extent of what it's going to do right now. Uh, so we will go ahead and head back to relax in air conditioning, not outside. And um, I'll be updating on the bite um, as I see fit. So stay tuned. Don't click out of the video just yet because you're going to want to see what this does to me. Do I die? Question mark. Will it hurt? Question mark. So do some, ah, some thumbnail. Ah, ow, so painful. Ah. Just kidding, it doesn't hurt that much, but it really does hurt and it's probably gonna make the rest of my body hurt. It's gonna be pretty achy, I'm assuming. But, um, good stuff, we'll see what happens. That's good. That's gonna hurt. <laughs> so, this is three, about three hours after the bite. You can see, I mean, it's a little red, swelling's gone down, I mean, it's kind of painful for the first like two hours. I mean, it still hurts, but it was really intense on my arm, up into my chest, my stomach. Um, kind of have a headache, kind of feel a little bit nauseous, but other than that, I feel fine. My arm still stings a little bit, but it's mostly going away. And that's at three hours. So I don't see it getting any worse. Um, I'll update tomorrow probably. Um, but I'm probably just gonna sleep it off. I don't imagine it lasting for much longer than that. Feeling right now. <laughs> Hurdy. Mm. So it's pretty bad. Mm -hmm. My back hurts. I can't really walk, so I'm gonna lay down. I took some ibuprofen. Okay. I'll go lay down. Um. Swelling's down. This should just be the pain taking its course, but. How bad does it hurt? Like, on a scale like 1 to 10? Yeah. <laughs> probably, like, probably like a 9. Oh <laughs> like gosh. just general pain. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> we're at about four and a half hours. And it is pretty much excruciating pain. Uh, I cannot sleep. I cannot lay down. Um, it's, and you can see it's a little bit red. If you can see that on the camera. Um, my lower back is just killing me. My joints are killing me. Uh, I mean, it's pretty painful. Um, I took some ibuprofen and I'm gonna drink some water and I will update tomorrow but yeah it's probably I mean as far as like full body pain probably the worst pain out of any bite or sting I've had 
So it's pretty bad. But uh, I mean, what you gonna do? Uh, it's not gonna kill me, but just don't get bitten by Black Widow. I mean, they won't bite because they're docile. But if you do get bitten, get like <laughs> some pain meds or something because, whew, let me tell you, it is a roller coaster, a rodeo, if you will. Uh, but, um, <laughs> I'm going to try and get some water and lay back down, but, uh, lay back down, but, um, it's pretty bad. So, I'll update tomorrow. Hopefully, all this will be gone and my body will have bounced back from the brink. Because this is no bueno. But anyway, thanks for her tuning into my TED talk. <laughs> oh, okay. Are you recording? Okay, it's uh, 6 a.m. Um, I didn't sleep at all because the pain is just terrible. Um, my lower back is like the most painful it's ever been in my entire life. I have a headache, my joints hurt, everything's achy. Um, so I'm taking a Epsom salt bath to see if that'll do anything before I try anything else. I took some ibuprofen, didn't do anything. Um, now I will mention that it's probably an extreme case, mostly because the Black Widow was biting me for so long. Typically, they'll just bite and release. Um, that one was a little smaller, so I thought it probably didn't, wasn't going to have that much of a venom yield, and I needed to make sure that it latched on for a little bit longer, and I now realize that this was a miscalculation on my part. At my own expense. So, uh, I will update as we go along, but... Um, just know that uh, they're pretty painful. It's a pretty painful bite. Okay, team. So, uh, it's been about 28 hours after the initial bite. You can see right there, still pink. Um, all in all, long story short, it's terrible. Um, I... Had to take ibuprofen, I had to take painkillers, I was pretty much in bed all day today. Um, could barely sleep. Um, I did not have to go to the hospital, but um, it was pretty painful. Again, like I mentioned before, um, that's most likely due to the fact that it was latching on for so long. Uh, typically, Blackwood is just going to bite and release, but again, I thought this one was a little too small, so I was trying to make sure that it did envenomate me, um, and I ended up getting probably about two or three times the amount I would have normally gotten. So, that being said, um, my uh, symptoms probably lasted a lot longer. Uh, anything from, I mean, joint pain, my lower back was just excruciating. Uh, I have a terrible headache right now, my arm still hurts, my neck kind of hurts, but um, other than that, I'm still alive. Um, I just had kind of a trashy day. It was very painful, um, and I don't throw that around very lightly. I mean, you've seen me take all sorts of stings from all sorts of things. Um, this is worse than any insect sting I've ever had. So... Not necessarily like initial pain, but just like general pain everywhere for, I mean, close to about 13 hours of just continuous, just bodily aching, excruciating pain um, was what I endured. And we didn't get a whole lot of that on video because it's just me laying in bed going, oh, oh, uh, uh. so I'm just going to recap. Just imagine in your mind's eye what it would look like because it was just me looking pretty pitiful. Um, that being said, this is probably going to be the last 
for sure the last non-insect sting slash bite video I will ever do. Uh, I'm not going to do the centipede, sorry to disappoint you. Uh, I'm not going to do any more spiders. If I do anything else, it is going to be a wasp. And that's if I run into a situation where I feel like I want to do that. Um, this has been this has been a good a good note to stop on. I do not see myself signing up for 13 hours of excruciating pain in the future. Um, but I am still alive. Again, it was neurotoxin, so it's very hard to get around. Uh, mostly because a lot, it felt like my joints and my back had been really overworked. Like I'd been lifting weights or working and I pulled something in my back. Um, which, if that had been the case, getting into a bath, you know, that would ease some of the tension, some of the stress on the joints. But because it's a neurotoxin, because there's nothing actually wrong with my body, it's just hurting, there was little to no relief for me. So hopefully, I changed some minds out there, um, or at least let you know that Black Widows are not going to kill you. Because um, trust me, if they were going to kill you, I just got three times the amount of venom I w you would normally get, and I'm still alive. Um, in pain, but alive. I, I imagine all the effects should be gone by tomorrow, so I probably will not update any further. Uh, because I am feeling okay um, now. I mean, I have a headache and I'm still a little bit sore, but um, I think after I sleep it off, I'll be fine. But I just wanted to recap our mission because a lot of the sting and bite videos, you know, can people can look at and be like, "Oh, that sounds crazy. That sounds ridiculous." But it's because these animals have been portrayed in such a light that I feel the need to do this. Um, I love Black Widows, and at the end of the day, I'm sorry, but nine times out of ten people are not going to watch an educational video about a Black Widow. They're just not. So with the bite included, first off, you can change people's minds. Um, you can tell them, no, 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 listen, like, I don't know what your doctor told you, but this is a full envenomation of a Black Widow, this is exactly what it does, here I am. Not, uh, well, my, my great aunt, you know, off in New York got bit by Black Widow and went into shock and, you know, like, there's, there's allergies, of course. You know, you can have an allergic reaction, an anaphylactic reaction to anything. Uh, but that doesn't necessarily make it as dangerous as everybody thinks. And that's a big thing with the brown recluse. A lot of times, yes, maybe you have a terrible reaction to a brown recluse bite or a Black Widow bite, okay. But if you're going to tell me, oh, well, my aunt is allergic to peanuts, and she touched a peanut and had to go to the hospital. Peanuts are the most dangerous things on the planet. Don't eat a peanut. You see how that reasoning is a little skewed. But because of the spiders, nobody really knows, because there's not a whole lot to pull from. Oh, my computer's yelling at me. Um, so essentially, I'm going off on a rabbit trail. Essentially, this is terrible. It hurts, but it's not going to kill you. And again, these widow spiders are very, very, very reluctant to bite. The only way you're realistically going to be bitten by a black widow is if you pin it to your skin. So if you're leaving your shoes outside, check your shoes. If, you, if you're leaving, you know, stuff in your garage that you're putting on, check it before you put it on. It's as simple as that. These spiders are not aggressive. Um, again, you saw from the video, if you've watched all the way to this part, congratulations, I'm proud of you. If you watched all the way through this video, you saw in the, in the first half when I'm handling the spider, let's handle it for a good 10 minutes without it doing anything. Until I had to pin it onto my skin to get it to bite me. Um, but, all in all, we had a good time. I didn't, hopefully you did. Um, but I am thinking after this, filming videos at my expense are probably going to come to an end. Uh, we've got new equipment, we've got a new computer, we've got a new camera. Uh, we're going to be focusing on uploading some more high quality um, footage, uh, some all sorts of animals, so hopefully we can get a lot of that done. Um, one way you can help support us is through our Patreon. Uh, so that is a pay-in subscription. We actually have tiers now. Uh, so you can take a look. The link is below in the description. And we have all sorts of stuff. We've got t-shirts. Uh, we're getting stickers. Um, I may see if, if, if we can get some little lapel pins, things like that as well. Um, just, a, just 5, 10, 20, 40 bucks a month. You know, that's 
you know, five to ten dollars a week at maximum uh, can really, really help us extend our reach uh, and our journey. I'd really, really like to get to Africa, but it is very expensive. Uh, for the things we want to do, we have to apply for permits. We have to sign up for a uh, whole group plans. Um, so we're looking at, you know, many thousands of dollars to get out filming gorillas, chimpanzees, you know, rhinoceros, all sorts of stuff that we'd like to bring to you. But again, it costs money, takes time. Uh, we thank you for your support already for just watching the videos, but please consider being a part of our journey and helping us get to the things that you want to see on the screen. Because uh, I don't mind flying out, taking a 30-hour layover, you know, in some foreign country to make sure that we're getting this stuff filmed. I don't mind doing that, but we do need the financial stability in order to be able to do that. So, without further ado, hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned. We got a lot of good stuff coming. We still have stuff from Thailand, Borneo. We got some Texas stuff that's still coming out. And um, there's even talk that we'll be going up to Alaska again. Uh, we've got a lot of video from... Uh, we got whales and bears, all sorts of stuff. So we're really excited to start uploading a lot of that. And we're really excited to start showing you guys footage from this new camera. So, stay safe. Do not try this at home. For your sake, trust me, it's not fun. <laughs> but, that's all. Love you, bye.